where we have got nothing. Wonderful. Okay. Well, apparently there was a water monitor there. Uh, I'm not sure who's controlling the camera this afternoon. Um, right. Zoomy, if we could find your water monitor, you did such a great job of finding it. Unfortunately, Ronald has become crippled for some reason. There it is. There it is. Thank you, Zoomy. A little bit to the left, and we'll be on the money. That is, of course, Africa's very largest lizard, if you exclude uh, the crocodile, which isn't, strictly speaking, a lizard. But that, I think, is probably, as Byron was saying to you the other day, the biggest water monitor that we've ever seen. They can go to up to two and a half meters in length, which is quite something. And this one... And it, I'm pretty sure it can only be this one because <laughs> both Herbert and Byron and I have confused its tracks for those of a crocodile. It moves between Twin Dams and Juma Dam. So this is Juma Dam, and that is a distance of some, ooh, I don't know, about five kilometers probably, maybe just under that, maybe four kilometers. So about three miles, two and a half to three miles. So that is quite a distance to move, and its tracks go up and down the road. It's also made itself a very nice friend there, a terrapin, who is almost looks like it's trying to display its size by sticky, poking its head out as high up as it'll go. Now, I mean, a rock mo a monitor lizard like that will pretty much eat anything that it can catch, but apparently perhaps the stink of a terrapin uh, discourages the monitor from getting hold of it. And in fact, it's all surrounded by terrapins. Look at them, they're all over the place there. And I'm amazed, because they will literally eat anything that they can. And Liz, you thought it was a log. Well, Liz, I don't blame you, and I think it's designed to look precisely like a log. I think that's the whole reason for its golden, well, what looks to us to be sort of golden and dark colors, but if it lies on a log, which they often do, Yes, they're very difficult to see indeed, but this chap is enormous. I mean, he really is big. He's got to be two and a half meters or certainly two meters long, so over six feet, six foot eight odd, or six foot five odd. Yeah, now, Cedar, you're wondering if a bite could hurt you. They do bite, and uh, I remember a wonderful sighting that Taylor had of Guchava, the little leopard, um, on, where was she? She was on Cheetah Plains, and she set about trying to catch one of these water monitors, and the water monitor frightened her off eventually, and they will bite, but the greatest defense they have is that slashing tail they have. They use it like a rapier, and they can, well, I mean, if they hit you hard enough, it's certainly sharp enough to leave a small cut, but it will also hurt. They can really slash with it, and it can do some serious damage to faces, especially on something like a leopard, if a leopard would try to catch this monitor on the back of its neck which, of course, is exactly what Shongile did a little while back, but nothing quite like this size. Byron has managed to find himself and us